All right, so Twitter was fun today. Uh, the community manager for Treyarch, Josh Torres, said that camping is a legitimate strategy and that human instinct dictates survival at all costs. This is the community manager at Treyarch. I don't think he's a full-on game developer. I don't think he's designing maps or anything. He basically just takes our feedback. Um, but yeah, this is Foxhound FPS. This is Josh Torres, and he's a, you know, from what I understand, a pretty respectable dude on Twitter. I, I don't know much about him. This was the first tweet I have actually seen of him. So if you guys know something awful about him, I'll leave it in the comment section below. Comment sections were made for gossip. But I had to make a video about this because I share the exact same opinion. If you don't, go ahead and click off now and tell me about how bad campers are in the comment section, I guess. But he has a really good point. Like, camping is a strategy. And this is something that Call of Duty players, FPS players, have had trouble figuring out over the last several years. Uh, camping has, has been sort of demonized, but it's also been generalized. So we don't really know what camping is anymore. I have been told that I'm camping when I am, you know, holding a piece of cover that's clearly put in the game to watch over a choke point. I'll wait there for a bit with a slower weapon, an LMG, a sniper rifle, and people will tell me that I'm camping or hard scoping or pre-aiming. And there's always all these terms for you know, playing the game. I don't think Call of Duty players want to problem solve. The ability for enemies to move and stop, use cover and rush, tuck and roll, call in streaks or not, that is problem solving. A competitive FPS game is nothing without problem solving. If you don't have a combat puzzle to solve, you're just pointing and shooting and hoping things work out. I mean, ideally, you could run a circle around the edge of the map and keep killing enemies and keep them spawning in front of you. That's a great strategy, and you can just do that every game. For some players, the ideal playstyle is speed and violence of action, and their concept of a good game is moving hard and fast. They want to get on your flank, they want to push your power position, and yes, ideally this would work, but it just doesn't. Because in every FPS game, whether it's Halo, COD, Battlefield, Counter-Strike, Apex, uh, Fortnite, somebody can stop moving their feet behind a piece of cover and wait you the fuck out. They don't owe you a 50-50 gunfight. You know, if these maps are going to be locations with buildings and burnt out cars and knocked over pieces of garbage that you can hide behind, and you know, we're gonna have these maps that have structures and buildings and pathways and alleyways, then people are going to utilize that to their advantage. So first things first, we have to decide what the hell camping is, because people are so mad about this tweet, yet I, I don't even think they could define to me what camping is quickly. Like, go ahead, let me know what camping is to you in one paragraph in the comment section below. Don't get convoluted, just one paragraph. So in my opinion, camping is only an issue if it's obsessive. So I don't like obsessive camping. I don't like the guy that when he gets killed out of a spot, he goes right back to the spot and he keeps posting up his claymores and his riot shield and his trophy system or whatever it might be. You know, I remember in Black Ops 2, I always got annoyed with that. A lot, a lot of the Black Ops 2 maps were simple. So people would go back to the same building, put the riot shield down, put a shock charge or a trophy system down and just wait with a fucking LSAT until I walk through the door. And I didn't like that very much. Basically, when I have to keep dealing with you in the same spot over and over again, you simplified my combat puzzle and it's that sort of noob movement that catches me off guard. You know, I expect people to be pushing for advantage, holding the more predictable lane spots, you know, you know, that those pieces of cover that overlook alleyways and doorways and whatever. You know, I expect people to be in those areas. And so when somebody is just unpredictably stupid, like they're doing something so simple that they're just plopping down in the same spot over and over again, that is annoying. So that's my, that's my simple version of that. Yeah, I use more than a paragraph worth of words to describe it, but I just really want to hammer that home. It's, it's, it's obsessive. When somebody's obsessive, I count it as noob movement. Noob movement being something that's so stupid, it becomes hard to counter because you don't anticipate people being so stupid. Like when somebody lays right in front of a doorway with a shotgun, you just don't anticipate that engagement. But my opinion on FPS games, and this is coming from somebody who rages a good amount, I get irritated a good amount, but if it's stupid and it works, it's not really stupid. Now, it could be stupid and work once, and then I, I would say that's pretty stupid, but if it's working consistently, if you keep going back to the same spot and they keep falling for it, if you keep doing the same strategy and they keep, you know, taking it on hook, line, and sinker, that's a retarded fish going for bad bait, and they should be punished for it, in my opinion. Essentially, if you keep coming, I'm gonna keep killing you. If I can play in such a stupid way that's so easily countered, laying in a stupid doorway, sitting in a stupid corner, using a predictable head glitch spot, 
if I can just stay here all game and you don't have the forethought to get a piece of cover between me and you and lob a Simtex grenade, you don't think to switch to a different weapon, you don't think to take a different route, then okay, yeah, I'm really not gonna feel bad. Now, what a lot of people do when they talk about camping though, they talk about an entire team camping or somebody who's really, really good at the game and also camping. They, they build up these hypotheticals or they use some anecdotes. Like, yeah, Black Ops 2, in my opinion, wasn't a campy Call of Duty game, but I could use an anecdotal piece of evidence here that it was, you know? I played a match of Black Ops 2 on Express a long time ago, and everybody was camping the middle room on Express that, you know, sort of overlooks the, the train. Everybody just camped that fucking room. All game. They had trophy systems and shock charges. It was like a team of like four or five people that dedicated themselves to sitting in that room. It was irritating to deal with. Also in Modern Warfare, my friends and I, an entire full group, you know, six people, held down the cafe on Ramaza or the office on Hackney Yard just as a joke, as a meme, you know, basically everyone just dogpiled in one room. But that does not happen all the time. In fact, it's so negligible, it's such an edge case, anybody bringing it up is grasping at straws. You're, you're talking about one out of maybe a hundred matches where an entire team is coordinating a singular camping effort. But what if the entire enemy team is playing conservatively? Well, that's their prerogative. You see, people get to play how they want. I, I, I don't know how else to say this. I don't know why this is a topic. Like, yes, you could fight a team of people that maybe aren't confident in head-on-head -head gunfights. Maybe they're using heavier weapons, LMGs, you know, DMRs, sniper rifles. Why would they push you? Why, why would they? And why wouldn't you change your playstyle? You might want them to change their playstyle to something that's a little bit more skill-based, fast, frantic, a little bit more 50-50, a little bit more fair. But why don't you turn the tables the other way? I really love camping on campers. When I know a team is playing, you know, conservatively and they're head glitching and they're grabbing every piece of cover and they're sitting in weird, weird areas, I do the same. Eventually they get bored. Eventually they come looking for me and they're so lazy, like they're so lethargic from sitting around all match that when it comes into a frantic gunfight that I now have the advantage in, they lose most of the time. But of course, that's my experience, that's my anecdotes, and I'm not gonna try to throw too many more of those out there. Essentially, this guy is 100% correct. Uh, first of all, we can't define camping as a community, as a player base, as a group of people that buy Call of Duty. <laughs> I, I have not seen anybody properly describe camping. And there are Call of Duty players out there that don't think that I should like aim down my scope for longer than a second, you know? That if I'm if I'm hard scoping, then I'm basically cheating or cheesing the game in some way. You know, there are Call of Duty players out there that really want to create a set of rules so that if you decide to play in a certain way that doesn't fit their criteria, they can essentially refer to you as cheating. And I think that's what this boils down to. You create a set of rules inside of the game. This, you have a subset of rules, essentially. And this subset is personal to you. And you believe if people play a certain way, they use a piece of equipment you don't like, they use a tactic you don't like, then you can just sort of refer to it as cheating. The way I know this is the case is that I do the same thing. I hate quickscopers. I just do. I hate rounding corners, putting shots into somebody, and getting clicked on by a bolt action. I just don't think that's how those weapons should be used. I don't think you should be able to use something that can one-shot me across the map or one-shot me as I'm putting rounds into you from three feet away. I think snipers should just have more flinch, less aim assist. I think they should just be a little bit more of a methodical weapon. But we're simple creatures. We know that quick scoping takes a lot more skill than simply, you know, using a piece of cover. But when somebody's using a piece of cover, that's when your skill needs to show up. That's when your ability to adapt and become flexible, changing your class up, moving to a different part of the map, changing up your playstyle. that's when that becomes crucial. There's going to be cover on FPS maps. There are going to be buildings and rooms and laneways and choke points, and people are going to utilize them depending on their weapon class, their playstyle, hell, their level of sleepiness. I play way slower when I'm tired. If I feel like playing COD, but I, you know, I don't have any caffeine in me. Maybe I've been up all day, you know, and I'm a little bit lethargic. I'll use an LMG. I'll use a sniper rifle and I will hold simple, basic, predictable angles and I'll just shoot people when they walk in front of me. I'm allowed to do that. I think the more we limit FPS games, the more we limit players and the more we demonize players for utilizing the entirety of the sandbox, which yes, includes sometimes standing behind a piece of cover like a scrub. 
I feel like it loses the human element, the unpredictable element. It kind of loses that freedom of abuse that makes these games so fun to revisit. I mean, I don't know why I prefer to play, you know, frustrating matches of 6v6 Call of Duty versus a fun, you know, story rich single player experience at times. You know, I think about it, I'm like, I could be playing some like really fun game that's enjoyable, not too hard, not too easy. You know, something like Ghost of Tsushima, Spider-Man. I could go play something fun, right? I'm not having fun. But that not having fun is crucial to the human element of the game. Somebody's besting me. I'm not thinking clearly. It's on your shoulders how you want to play. It's on your shoulders, and I don't know why that's such a hot topic. I, I get fed up with bullshit too, but I'm not ready to throw in the towel because somebody decided that they were going to, I don't know, utilize the map. So the campers I don't like are the noob movement, sit in a corner, all game, obsessively, you know, I have to start like dictating my play style around like avoiding that part of the map. I have to change up my class. It's annoying. I don't like doing it, but I do it because he's a human. He gets to play however he wants. Some people like to play the game a little bit more realistically. They set up their weapons to look like real life, you know, tactical weapons, you know, and they, they hold cover and they move angles and they check corners. And then you have the people that run like Damascus MP5s and they're slide canceling around the map and flipping around and looking like they just snorted a line of cocaine, you know, sweet, good for them. I don't like going up against certain playstyles. Everybody has a least favorite playstyle they don't like going up against. I don't like going up against certain weapons, certain types of players. I don't like playing on certain maps. I don't like certain game modes. Camping is ill-defined, super vague, and unfortunately for all of us, at one time or another, it's totally legitimate. Thank you guys for watching this tangent, this rant, this video. Thank you so much. I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye. That's it. We're done. Go home. Subscribe if you want. See ya.